Yeah, everybody say praise the Lord. Everybody say praise the Lord. Yeah, ain't God good? Don't it feel good to be in the house of the Lord? I say, don't it feel good to be in the house of the Lord? Boy, this is a wonderful service. When I when I first pulled up to the church this morning and I looked and I seen all the cars out there, the first thing I say, ow. Oh. Man, God is good. But God been so good to us over here at the church of Honey Bun and Tabernacle. Yeah, I want to say it feel good when I walk up in here and when I pull up to the church and when I look on top of that building, I see that big old Honey Bun. Yeah, look just like them golden arches that McDonald's got over there. Y'all get an amen? Yeah. Ain't God good? Can I get an amen? Yes, Lord, God is good. God is good. Yeah. First of all, I want to Say thank you for everybody coming into the church. And I know y'all, I know y'all been waiting for me to get up here and preach my sermon. I know I'm not, when I came out the back and I walked out, everybody just stood up and y'all was just standing there for so long. And I said, boy, look at God, ain't God good. Boy, I done came a long ways in a short amount of time. I want to say thank you, God. I remember when I first started this church three months ago, I had, Maybe uh, I had like maybe 2,000 members, yeah, 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, and I look up three months later, I know God, y'all y'all know God is good. And I look up three months later, and I went from them 2,000 and some members, them 2,000 subscribers, and Lord knows I'm at 17,000 members right now. 17,000 subscribers, boy, ain't God good. Amen. Amen. God is good. Well... First of all, I want to tell my brother over here, Brother Champ, I appreciate you for rocking with me, man, and going through these hard times and tribulations again to this point where we're trying to get to. Amen. And I like to thank my deacon, Deacon Lee Humber. I like to thank you, Lee Deacon Lee Humber, for donating like you donated to the church and all the merchandise you bought. I just want to say it's what you did is what put that in me. Brother Lee Humber, all the way out there from them Carolina coast, they came all the way down. Everybody give Brother Lee Humber a clap. Yes, Lord, no. Brother Lee Humber, I thank you. Brother Champ, I give you the most grades of all of them. Now, today's sermon... Yeah, you know you got to have a sermon. Today's sermon I ain't going to be long because as I look out in the congregation, I feel the Lord telling me that I don't need to preach that long because there's somebody that need to come on up to the church and need to get saved. I got a feeling that I'm going to lay my hands on somebody. It's going to be somebody that the Lord needs to save today. Amen. Everybody say hallelujah. Let me hear y'all say it. And y'all knowing the words of Jesus. Let me hear everybody say it. That's right. And before we go any further, I want to thank my choir. I want to thank all my choir members. I like to thank Choir Honey Bun. <laughs> choir Honey Bun. Choir Honey Bun is an amazing choir. Yeah, I want to thank Choir Honey Bun for getting up here and singing that amazing, amazing, amazing sermon they just sung. Yeah, they just sung that beautiful sermon. And I just want to say thank you, Choir Honey Bun. There's some beautiful women up here. Hey, y'all fellas out there, I know y'all looking for a good wife. Yeah, now let's get down to it. You know you got to have your subject, church. You got to have your subject, yeah. And in that subject, you got to have something in there what you call the delivery point. Can I get a witness? <laughs> Amen. Already. My sermon today, my subject today is called A Black Eye in the Game. Yeah, a black eye in the game. And with that being said, before I get to the subject of a black eye in the game, I want to do like I did. I want to open up the church and say, is anybody out there that want to come down to the congregation that want to come over here? And, you know, you might, you might, you know, God don't want to get rid of you when you're going through things. He don't want to get rid of you. I promise he don't want to get rid of you. What he want to do is he want to give you a tune-up. Yeah, God, is somebody out there that God can give a tune-up to right now? Is there somebody out there? Come on down, brother. See, I told put y'all on this girl. I knew it was going to be somebody that came down here that God can give a blessing to. Yeah, right here. Thank you, brother. Well, brother, I want to tell you, I appreciate you for, hey, y'all come around here and get around him. Y'all come get around. We're going to pray for him. But um, I want to tell you, I appreciate you coming down to Honey Bun. Holy Tabernacle Church. Yeah, I appreciate you coming down, brother. <laughs> yeah. And um, God is good, uh. 
out of all these people in here, what made you come down here to the honey barn, tabernacle church, and walk down here and talk to me? Reverend whispers, what was it? You say you got a lot of stuff you've been dealing with. Right. It took you a long time to do it this way. Before we go any further, can you just tell me what's your name? Your name is Mike Prince, okay? Mike Prince, are you related to James Prince, the Prince family over here on the other side of Houston, Texas? <laughs> I knew I kind of looked. I looked at you and I said, I, when I looked at you, you looked like one of them ugly African boys. <laughs> but I see, I see you came on down here because you're looking for a blessing because you want Lord, you want God to fix your face. Is that what you down here for? Okay. I thought you, I thought you were trying to get that Shaka Zulu up off of you. But go ahead, brother. Now, what you say you can't, it took you a long time to come here, right? Okay. Right, right. Mm. You've been battling with these demons since you've been a little boy. It's been a Go on. Can somebody give me a tissue? Go on, get a young man a tissue. Get, get brother Mike Prince a tissue. Allegedly, when your mama used to leave the house, <laughs> you would go in her closet and put her shoes on. Huh? Boy, you know that's a, now that's a black guy in the game, Mike. That's a black. That's a that, boy. That's a jab in the game. Yeah, that's a Floyd Mayweather punch. Go ahead, brother. Keep on telling us. Yeah, I'm listening. Allegedly, you would go in her purse and you would take her foundation out of her purse and you would put her foundation on. Brother Mike, what? you a man. What would make you start putting on makeup and hiding this stuff at an early age? You ain't got to hide nothing in here, Brother Mike. Yeah, you can, you can. Okay, we listening, Brother Mike Prince. You say your mama came home one day and found you in a dress with a wig on. Golly. Okay. Right, and you you feel like now everybody online is you say everybody on social media saying you look like a boy dagger. Oh my God. That word ain't even in the Bible. It's this one blog on social media that's talking about what he say. He says you look like a what? It's a blog on social media that say you look like a backwood dyke. Right. So all, all this didn't start happening to your family went on a million dollars worth of game podcast and it talked about who? Takeoff. What is a takeoff? No, I never heard of a takeoff. So you what so what is it that you coming down here to the Lord for Brother Mike Prince from J Prince family? What is it you coming down here to tell us? Allegedly, you tired of living in sin. <laughs> Brother, I want to ask you, is you tired of living in sin? Is you tired of living in the closet? <laughs> That's why I want to know. Because you got to be tired of one or the other. You tired of living in the closet? I know, because see, you ain't living in no sin in your mind. You think you think it's something when you wake up in the morning and think about another man. Yeah, I can tell. I, yeah, but see, I done had a lot. Now, 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 let me tell you, Mike Prince, I done had a whole lot of them come down here to the church just like you. And they come down here to the church, and they've been eating a whole lot of fruit. You know, they've been, it's kind of, you know, they eat a lot of fruit till they get full and fruity. Yeah. <laughs> you say, what? You forgot to close your browsing history on your phone. And J Prince seen you picked your phone up. And you was looking at she-mails. 
Oh my God. Allegedly, boy, that is a sin. I don't know if God can forgive you for that, Mike. But this one I'm gonna do, we're gonna give you a tune up, Mike. Yeah, we're gonna get this one. Everybody put your hands on Brother Mike. Cause we gotta get back to service. Put your hands on Brother Mike. I'm gonna put my hands on Brother Mike. God, we come before you to tell you to press Brother Mike right now. He's going through a hard time right now, him and his family. Yes, Lord, I, you done put it on my heart to tell Brother Mike that he need to come on out the closet. Allegedly, come on out the closet, Brother Mike. Stop living in that closet, living in sin. It's okay if you want to come out the closet, if you want to get you a boyfriend, if you want to get you a man. It don't matter. It's all right if you want to be married to a man. It ain't no problem because at the end of the day, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Y'all saying, go on back to see Brother Mike. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I want to tell. Brother Mike Prince, it's all right. Hey, it's all right. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Say, God is going to tell you something. God is going to, hey, wait till my man. Hey, I like that. All day and all night. Yeah. And say, God, hey, God is good. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah.